Today, I am going to introduce you how to make a very simple origami box. Here's an example of the box that I'm going to show you how to make. So you're going to make actually two parts so that they can go together. You have a cover, a top, and a bottom that you're going to create. What you're going to need is a square of paper. Origami is almost always made with a square. If you do not have a square of paper, you can always cut a rectangle into a square. I'm very quickly, I'm just going to demonstrate for you how to go ahead and take your rectangle and turn it into a square. So how you do this, you take the short end of the rectangle and you line it up with the long end. And you fold that and then you'll have this kind of rectangle over here. So you just want to take a pair of scissors or you can crease it and tear it, whatever's gonna work. You wanna cut that rectangle off and then you open it up and you can see that you have a square. I have these colored papers that I'm gonna use for this project. First thing you're gonna do is you wanna make sure that if you have two-sided paper like this, you want to make sure that you're folding in a way that this shows on the outside. So the first folds you're going to make, you're going to fold it in half. And when you're folding, a good suggestion is to fold on the table. That way it's easier to line it up and hold it in place so that your, your folds can be more precise. Okay, so once you have folded it one way, creased it, and then folded it the other, it should look like this. Now, as I was saying, I'm going to make sure that the part... I want inside is facing up and the part I want outside is facing down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the corners and I'm going to fold them into the center. So it looks like, oops. So it looks like this, your corners folded into the center. Then you're going to take one of the edges and you're going to fold it toward the middle, just like this. So then take the edge, now you're going to line it up with that other side. This can be a little tricky because you do have to kind of figure out where the middle is. It looks like this. Now, you want to do the same thing the other way. So you're going to take the other side, and fold it in to the center, crease it. Lastly, other side, fold it into the center, crease it. Then you want to open it up. And it's going to look like this. Now you're going to want to take this here and this here, and you want to fold them open. Now the next part is the trickiest part because you have to kind of finesse things a little bit to make them work together. You take these pieces and you push them in and then you fold it up and then you fold this down into it. And then same thing here, okay? You've got to push in, you can kind of see like it's along this line here, along that edge. You push that in and you got it folds and then so now you have one box. I'm going to show you how to do that again because we're going to make the cover now and it's a very similar process. Once again, you're going to fold it in half. And you're going to fold it. You can also just do it this way. Fold it in half again. Okay, then you open it up. And you fold the corners into the center. Making sure the color you want showing is facing down. The difference between the top 
of the box and the bottom of the box. So this one you made is going to be the bottom. When you fold into the center for this, you're not going to go all the way in. So you're going to leave a little bit of space between the edge of the paper and where you're folding it into the center. So you can see right here, I've left this little bit of space between it. You're going to open it up. You're going to do that same thing to the other two sides. You're going to make sure you leave a little space between the two folds. You're not going to line it up like you did in the other one. You're going to leave a little bit of room so that it will fit on top of the other one. Now you've got all your folds. You open this up. Here comes the slightly tricky part. Again, you see this here. You want to kind of poke that in. All right, and then you bring up the walls, okay, and then fold it over. This one is not cooperating. And then you again, same thing on the other side. Take these pieces, push them inward. This one's being a little tricky. That is the thing about origami is it can be tricky, okay? Stick with it. I am actually going to also give you a couple of resources where you can look at the visual pictures and written steps for this, uh, which helped me get better at it. So I will include that information for you as well. So there you have it. So now I have top and a bottom box. Good luck and send me pictures.